jealous. <laughs> channel is Ashley today we are doing home decor updates a collective haul home decor haul I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet y'all but we talking about home decor today all right okay um okay so a couple weeks ago I did a vlog and I bought a new couch so I got a brand spanking new couch um in the the vlog it shows like me <laughs> like decorating it i guess um but i never did go into detail about what i actually got from amazon so i'm gonna talk about that right now since they're sitting right here so my couch is like a grayish uh it's gray it's gray um, and so the pillows that I got, the first one is this one, the pillows and the inserts or the pillow inserts and the pillow covers are all from Amazon. The insert, if I'm not mistaken, is a 20 by 20. The pillow cover is an 18 by 18. This is not a down, it's a down alternative. So you can still chop it, um, which I didn't do right, but you can still chop it. Um, I love them. They're very comfortable, very fluffy. And of course, you know, to put the, um, a, a bigger pillow than insert. So I think the rule of thumb is it's supposed to be two inches bigger than the pillow cover so that it can be fluffy and give the illusion of fullness. But these pillow covers were, our pillow inserts were already uh, fluffy when I got them. Well, after I fluffed them because they come vacuum sealed. The other one is this blue. It's not showing the actual shade of blue on the camera. It's more like a, I don't want to say teal. I don't know, but it is blue. Blue is my favorite color if y'all didn't know. And this uh, fabric is like a velvet so is this one it's the same type of fabric and this is the same pillow inserts they came in a pack of four and then i just got the pillow covers came in a pack of two so it's two blue ones and then two of this this color here and i eventually want to get like a brown or a lumbar pillow or something to go up there um so that's the first thing i have to show you i also got a blanket from amazon as well that was supposed to match. So it's this kind of like quilted fabric. And it's a cute little blanket, but the only thing that I don't like about it is that any little thing that you do on the blanket will make it snag. And I hate that. And that there's like little portions of the blanket that has like snags on it. Like for instance, right here. I don't like that right here too. Like just random pieces that I could just be sitting there and I might move my foot or my hand the wrong way and it'll snag the blanket. So I don't really, I don't really care for that too much. It's comfortable, it's, it's soft, it is um cute it's not too big it's the perfect like size for a throw blanket and it obviously matches my decor but i don't think that i'm gonna keep it on my couch i don't know because it's literally a couch throw blanket i wouldn't put this on my bed or anything but i might get a basket or something and just just put this in there because it, it doesn't the the way that this snags it's hard to and i don't even know how to fix it so yeah um I like it, but I don't like that it snags so much. That's kind of annoying. Um, so the next thing I want to talk about is, I don't, again, I don't know if y'all remember, but I was in one of my videos talking about me redoing my art area. That has been done. So I did redo it. <sighs> it took, it didn't really take long. I bought everything in one day and I got it all from Lowe's. 
so literally i bought a carpet an outdoor carpet that was about 25 dollars and i bought paint tarp um plastic paint tarp and then also a uh, cloth drop hung that up on the wall it's done i'll insert like a time lapse of me actually doing it So y'all can see, it didn't take me long at all. Everything else I already had. My silver shelf is from Ikea. My rolling cart is also from Ikea. Um, that chair, <laughs> the stool is my granny's. There's, it's a set of two, but I use one in my art area and that's like thrifted from a long time ago. So that's that, but everything else I already had, I just needed to put the, the stuff together and get it more neat. Um, on the silver thing, I have these boxes, like these clear totes or like, I don't know what you would call them, but those are also from Ikea, but they don't sell those anymore. I'm pretty sure you could get the same ones from the container store or Walmart or Target. It's, they're nothing special. They was just cheap. That's why I got them that day. But anyway, there's an update on that. <laughs> It's done. Um, the reason why it's nothing on it now is because I haven't painted anything since I redid it. So don't worry though, it'll be messed up in a minute. Um, the next thing is my bookshelves. So the bookshelves I got from Target, they were $25 each and I bought three and the artwork that's above it is uh, mine. <laughs> I created that artwork, but I needed somewhere to put my books. Previously, I don't know if y'all saw, but when I was I had a video about my mental health, my books were lined up on my floor, which I thought was going to be like cute you know, but it never did give what it was supposed to have gave. I think maybe if I, I think maybe if I had a wood floor, it probably would have been a little cuter, but the carpet, it just looked like you, these books are taking up your space on your floor. You probably should find somewhere to put those. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I have two in my dining area next to my art area. There's a little nook that my art area goes in and then next to it, is the bookshelves and then in my hallway I have the other bookshelves so I split them up okay I split them up I'm a, I'm a book girl I love books so the books that are in my dining area bookshelves are books that I have already read they are color coordinated boom they're up there they're cute right the books in my hallway are books that I have not read outside of the Harry Potter series that's on the top and then I have storage um, and the next two shelves and I'll talk about that shortly. But before we get to the storage shelves, I wanted to share another piece of home decor that I got, which is this here. <laughs> so this is Spike Lee's coffee table book. <laughs> I'm so excited to have this y'all. I love, I love Spike Lee, okay? But what makes this coffee table book so special is signed, ooh, jealous. <laughs> so anyway, this coffee table book is signed by Spike Lee. I bought it from Spike's Joint, which is his online store. 
it retails for $50, but he does priority next day shipping. Um, so it is going to run you about, I think it was about $63 once I finished um, the full, like paying for it. It was about $63 with the shipping included. The customization, which is him signing the book, is free. So, yeah. And I ain't going to tell y'all what's in it. It's a coffee table book. Buy you one. <laughs> it's just his um, works. You know, starting from when he was young. And it is on display on the top shelf of my uh, bookshelves in my dining room. So that when people walk in, that's the first thing they see. Is this hot pink ass, gold ass book. I love it. It's heavy. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's pretty thick. I'm with it. I love Spike Lee, so I was hyped to have this. And I have been waiting, waiting to get it. And I finally was just like, I'm going to just get it. I'm going to just do that. Yeah, period. Anyway, <laughs> the next thing I have, um, so I spoke about the storage that was on my bookshelves in the hallway. So... I needed room so I don't like potato stuff to be out if that makes sense I don't like for people to be able to see it like the only thing that I need y'all to see is that she has food which is her water bowl everything else I need it up it doesn't go with my aesthetic <laughs> so I got some storage bins now you can get these from Dollar Tree as well but the ones from Dollar Tree are kind of flimsy so I went a little bit more expensive. They was five dollars from Walmart. Um, and it's just these bins that I have slid in the bottom of the um bookshelf in the hallway. And it has all of her toys. There are two of them in there. Walmart. They come collapsed. You stick the thing in there. It's baby, it's easy. It's easy. Yeah, five dollars. Um, the second shelf had candles, but those are not gonna be there forever. So anyway, let's talk about the candles. I just sat them right there because I didn't have nowhere else to put them at the time. So I did a pretty decent order from DW Home, which is where I like to get my candles. You can also find them at Home Goods, Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. They carry them as well, but they don't always have the scents that I like. Even though DW Home, they really don't miss too much with their scents. But anyway, so I bought, these are the large Tuwick candles. You can see that. And they are, this one is birthday cake. It smells so good. Um, these retail for about, I think, $14 on the website. If you get them out of TJ Maxx or Marshalls, they're going to be half of that, which is probably about $7. $7. Uh, this is also another one that I like. All of them are the same size. Some of them were on sale. This is Vanilla Blueberry. The next ones I got were... Vanilla bean, which is in me. I didn't feel like, I don't think y'all needed to see it, but it's a vanilla bean candle. Then I also have two that are odd scents. So I got two birthday cake, two vanilla bean, and four vanilla blueberry, because that's my absolute favorite scent, period. And then I have one in my room that is uh, a vanilla coconut. And this one that is lit on my table is vanilla, French vanilla. Um, these all retailed again for about $14. The two that are odd were on sale for I think like 10, which is why I got them. Yeah, and they were ordered offline. They came pretty quickly. So yeah, I say I got 10. I said that right. Speaking of candles, 
The next thing that I got was from Amazon for about $10 and it is a candle set. So it is, I think this is like if the wick, I think this is for you to either dip the wick or pick the wick up. So you won't have to dig your fingers in the wick. Sometimes they're, yeah. I think that's what this for. And then I have wick trimmers and then I also have a candle snuffer. Now I had one, I was gonna get this in a rose gold set, but I think that this black, matte black is, looks a little bit better to me. I don't know. But it's just a matte black. And then this little candle thing has a, a, a design on it. Can y'all see it? No? Nah, that didn't help. It's a little like, I don't know, looks like a leaf design. Uh, this sits on my table filled for about $9.99. They had other sets that also included uh, an electric lighter, the lighters that you have to plug in. I don't like those lighters. Is it just me? I don't like to have to keep plugging in stuff. I guess it's convenient so that you won't, you know, you reduce your waste. Then you can just charge it up when it gets dead, when it's when it is dead. But I'd rather like light a match or something. I don't know. I don't. I recently redid my bed setting. Um, just the the covers and stuff that are on the bed. My full home decor or room decor is not done yet. Um, yeah so i got a new duvet cover i already had the duvet insert i've had it for a while my bed is a queen so i bought a beige or khaki whatever y'all want to call it um duvet cover and it came with two shams and then there was a sheet set that i already owned my sister gave it to me so i didn't i didn't purchase that and i don't even know i think it might have came from target but um we don't really know where it came from. We shop at this store, or she had went in a store called Dirt Cheap. It was either Dirt Cheap or Bargain Hunt, and she thought she was buying a piece of furniture, y'all. Somebody had stole that furniture because that was not furniture that was in the box. Somebody stuffed it with a whole bunch of stuff so that it'll feel like furniture. So when we opened it up, it was socks, a blow dryer, <laughs> the sheet set, blankets, drawers. I'm like, whose stuff is this? This is not what I, mm -mm. But I got a queen sheet set, so that works. And it was a pair of shoes in there that I could fit randomly. Anyway, the sheet set is, I think it might've been from Target but I'm not entirely sure the label was not on there. It was kind of ripped up. So I don't, I don't know where it was from, but it's cute. And then I bought this pillow cover. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. This is from Amazon. It is also an 18 by 18, but the insert is not. So the insert I've already had, it's actually pink. It came with, <clears throat> excuse me um i had i got a bed in a bag i've always wanted a bed in a bag for christmas and i got one for last christmas but it came with two throw pillows and this is what the throw pillows look like so i was like it doesn't make sense if this is the same size it doesn't make sense for me to buy another insert for it so i just covered it and that's probably what i'm gonna keep doing um so yeah Again, this is from Amazon. It matches my shirts. I thought it was going to look too summer-y, but it doesn't. I think that because it's so, like, burnt-ish, it gives fall. I think it does give fall a little bit. Yeah. But I'll put a little insert, um, a video insert of what my bed looks like, including this cute little pillow. All right, moving right along. Next is, I'm gonna do the bathroom stuff. So it's really random. 
it's not a lot. So in my bathroom, I don't like to have paper towels, like the paper towels on a roll. I don't like to have those. I feel like I'll use way too much or too many paper towels when they're in the bathroom. Like I'm buying rolls of paper towel. Why, why am I buying so many rolls of paper towels? I, I'll just, I don't understand. But anyway, ended up getting some, these are restaurant napkins and they look like this. These are Scott. Uh, so like when you take them out, they're accordion style. Um, I took the majority of them out cause I didn't know, but they are like accordion style in here. And this here is a tissue box holder, but of course, obviously I've taken the tissue out and I use it for the paper towels. And you just slide it out this way, slide whatever you're putting in there in, in it, and that's how you do it. But I got the, the paper, the, I got the napkins because again, I don't like to use so many paper towels. And I bought the holder because I didn't just want to have these sitting out in my bathroom. And these came in like a pack of 40. Maybe not that many, but it came in a, in a large pack. So I have a whole bunch of damn restaurant napkins because they came in bulk and not any other way. The other thing that I got that also came in bulk, which is random, like I said, tissue. <laughs> y'all, are y'all like me? I don't like to have to buy tissue. Why do I have to buy a tissue? I don't wanna buy it. And I also don't like to run out of it. So I bought tissue in bulk. This Angel Soft Tissue came in a pack of 80. Yeah. So that I won't ever have to buy tissue ever again in my life. Thank you so much. That's probably going to last me until next year, really. It's the end of the year. And again, it came in like a pack of 80. So, yeah. <laughs> um, let's move on to the kitchen stuff. So, I bought new spice jars. I don't have much for the kitchen. I'm not done by any means redoing my kitchen. That is my next my bathroom, my room, my bathroom, and my kitchen are my next chores. I'm already done with my living room and my dining room pretty much, but we have to get my room, my dining room, and my bathroom all the way together. But anyway, I bought spice jars from Amazon. They came in a pack of 24 and they are like this. Aren't these cute? This is a wood, a wood top, and it also has the shaker on here. Um, you just pop it off. It did also come with a, a, a funnel. I don't know what I did with the funnel. And then it has this marker for the labels, but it came with three packs of labels so these look like that these look like this this is the spice labels list and then these are the labels that I actually use which are in white they literally look like the black ones just in white like these see they're just white um, but you really these are easy to peel off so you really can change the labels out as you see fit um and they do also come with a lot of options for spices and then of course if there is just a spice that is not on there at all then there is a page a blank page where you can write in your own spices and i guess if you're one who like makes a mixture of herbs and stuff like that then you know you have that extra page also it's um down here too now i don't know what the numbers are for because it just has like random like number 11 number one number two and i'm like what the, what the numbers for i think they might be numbering the pages maybe 
I don't know, child. Don't quote me. Because I really don't know. But why would I want a sticker that says one? I don't know. I don't know. Um, and then this is how it looked with the spices in it. So that's my crushed red pepper. And it actually holds a decent amount. Now, I had like four jars of crushed red pepper. So, uh, don't ask me why. Then I got these from my sister who got them from Dollar Tree. These, I feel, are off though. This is a rack like this, which you can put spice jars on top of. I don't know if my spice jars are too big or if my shelves are too small, but the full spice jar when it's in the rack does not sit up here. So it's too, they're too high to sit at the top. I have no clue, but I really feel like it's the way that this is made because I really, f I thought that the shell should be, you see how little of a step this is? You can't even see when it's in the, in my um, pantry, you can't see what spice it is. And I thought the whole point was for it to be a stair so that you could see what's on the next level, if that makes sense. So I feel like if they would have just made each shelf come down lower, it would have been able to fit in there. I don't know. Maybe that's why you probably shouldn't get them from Dollar Tree. Yeah. <laughs> um, before that was this, or maybe not even Dollar Tree, a Dollar Twenty Five Tree. Y'all got y'all nerve. You got your nerve. A Dollar Twenty Five. So anyway, that is all of the items that I have <laughs> from my home decor update slash haul. Um, if y'all would like to, I'm probably, if I can link, if I can find links to everything, I will put them in the description bar below, okay? If you have questions about anything that I do have or if you have suggestions on some stuff that I should get, let me know i don't think i'll ever i don't know if i'll do a full like apartment tour maybe i will because i kind of want to see it for myself how it looks all put together <laughs> anyway before i start going off on a tangent thank y'all so much for watching i appreciate y'all so much i love y'all and y'all before i forget we are at 265 subscribers like what y'all like me thank you if we get to 300, maybe, maybe I'll do a giveaway. And no. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. I love y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.